Scorpio, this is your reading. So justice just came out. Something karmically meant to occur. Karma. You guys got the peacock angel. Okay. King of the world. The creators of angels. So there's a whole bunch of angels around you. I'm also getting someone's energy. Is like. Um, it comes from the abyss. I'm getting conscious awareness that others have not seen before. Because it's been hidden. Okay. So I'm about to go ahead and read y'all shit. I'm also getting like a releasing of energies. So it says Peacock Angel is the primary deity of Yez Yezidism, the religion of the Yezdi people, the people of the angels. So you could descend from angels. You could have celestial blood. OK, um, they say they live in the mountains um, of northern northern Iraq. So you guys could be um, close to Jerusalem, the Bible. This is biblical. OK, um, Islam perceives them as heretics or devil worshipers they are terrorized and persecuted the most infamous example of occurred on 14 august 14 2007 when a suicide bomber targeted and killed at least 400 yezidis okay it is a complex religion with what appears to be shamanic jewish and others this does not surprise the yezidis as they perceive that they possess earth's oldest religion so this could also be something about paganism. I'm also getting something about sellouts. Sellouts get sold or some shit like that. So someone is getting sold or someone is being exposed. Yeah, the sun card. Something is going to be exposed here, okay, um, to a lot of people here, okay? Some type of knowledge or you are going to be the one to expose some things to a whole bunch of people, okay? You could be a part of this tribe or you were a part of this tribe when it first happened. It's something about a past life or something like that. Um, they are mono, monotheistic. There is one supreme creator who created seven angels, one of one on each of the seven days of creation. The peacock angel was first in the beginning. Okay, you could also resonate with the um, fallen angel Lucifer, Lucy, or something about um, knowledge. I'm also getting a real spirit or a real something about dead man or dead man walking or a dead body. This also reminds me of what we just talked about um, about Gnu. Okay, something about a prop is significant. Five of Cups, the Two of Swords okay i'm also getting a situation whereas um a marriage a union okay something that's political political matter you're going to be married to somebody you're going to be married to something for um a higher calling or a higher agenda the king, the queen of swords okay this could also be something about communications you need to be a writer or an author or a tater something of that nature but yeah so the information that you have you hold um a lot of people do not experience it because of the darkness that it may hold the eight of wands is a whole bunch of ideas coming towards you or you're inspiring a whole bunch of people by the things that you know the things that you say or what you what the fuck you're doing okay um it also says the world's major um monotheistic fates claim to descend from abraham the yezidis claim to be pre pre abrahamic by living in isolation in the mountains they were able to ma maintain their ancient religion although it is now heavily influenced by islam okay so you guys could be muslim you guys could be um part of this heritage whatever like that okay let's move on okay we have it emerged as um the peacock i don't know what the fuck that said the peacock angel is the supreme creator vehicle to create and administer the world the creator then produced six other angels to help the peacock angel they correspond to the seven archangels okay it says when the peacock angel descended into the physical dimension the colors of the rainbow took the form of peacock which flew around the world blessing every spot until landing in lalish now is modern iraq okay he is a prosecutor and teacher of humanity although he lives in a different dimension someday in an apocalyptic time of great danger he will return probably as a peacock or rainbow in the meantime he is everywhere all the time and so devotees can always call upon him so this is the promise okay um, once again this is the pussy okay um at creation the creator ordered the seven angels never to bow down before anyone but him when a when adam was created he seemingly reascended this order directing the angels to per prostate themselves before a new creation seven six or seven angels obeyed they are two ways of looking at this so um your 
So God himself is telling you not to bow down to any humans because you have a higher um, infinity over them. Okay? Just period. You have the ability to talk to supernatural beings or supernatural beings want to talk to you or to collaborate with you or to marry you. Okay? Yeah, the temperance. So this is definitely biblical. So I'm also getting corruption, the corruption of the world or the corruption of knowledge, the corruption of the minds, the corruption of um, the, uh, the abilities, turning your abilities dark, turning what you see um, dark. Okay, I'm also getting darkness. Someone sees darkness within you or within something. Okay, um, so yeah, I'm also getting the stripping of gifts. Someone has this power. Okay, I'm getting power of authority, power of attorney, something like that. Okay, we have the six of swords, the five of swords, and the ten of swords. So something just ends here. Okay, because you have more power or you're more skilled. Okay, or you know more. Okay, so anyone trying to hold you back, there's no possible way because they have to bow to you in return. Okay, this could also be just death itself. Like, okay, um, you're dealing with death, you're dealing with mediumship, you're dealing with this. Okay, then you must understand that this is what the fuck going on. So that's pretty much what I'm getting, y'all. So this is like pretty much a real rundown of what the fuck is going on. I'm also getting you can speak to the dead or the dead is speaking to you like literally um they're speaking through you or something yeah the king of wands i'm getting bori spirits haitian spirits okay they really respect you or you are married into this sect this group this community i'm getting hierarchy here yeah we have the princess of um pentacles the six of wands 66 soulmate energies here okay i'm getting um hybrids as well the mixing of two things okay we have the sun card we have the page of swords i'm also getting royalties royals okay whatever okay royal bloodline celestial blood whatever you want to say okay blood that has the ability to poison you okay i'm also getting the mark of cain someone cannot die or someone cannot um be killed by man okay not even by witch okay we have the will of fortune this is your destiny this is your natal chart this was going on in the motherfucking uh world right now okay this is a collective reading this is collective consciousness like i said before <laughs> Okay. Ten of Cups and the Five of Swords. Okay. I'm also getting revenge on the world. Okay. Yeah, the death card. You're coming out real strong here. Okay, real, real strong. Okay. I'm also getting your energy is real, real strong. The fallen energy, the fallen angels. I'm hearing you're a fallen angel or some a fallen angel. Okay. The fallen angels are reascending. Okay, Ten of Wands. I'm getting a lot of them too. Okay. Um, I'm also getting the body. These people are um coming into the physical bodies. Fallen angels are now um merging with physical bodies. That's that Gemini energy. Those are also those clone like energies that go so deeper than really what we think they're like merging into spiritual bodies i mean physical bodies so the spiritual or the spirit is now finding the body that coincides with its spirit so what i'm kind of getting is kind of like um when i was younger i did a science project on water and oil and i had no idea how symbolic it was and in order to merge or demerge a body or um shape shift out of a spirit or out of a body you must um Rick, you must use water and oil to um, separate the two, three of cups. Okay, that, that is the merging of things here. Okay, the knight of wands and then the page of swords, the page of wands. Okay, I'm also getting like um, possession here. Okay, um, literal. Okay, so you may be getting possessed by something, someone, so that you can tell some type of story or so that you can write something down or so that you can uh, be a witness to something. Okay, I'm also getting somebody needs you to witness some type of some type of skill that um they have seen okay so that's what's going on and i'm i'm gone i'm gone